let's start with the marinade. Uh, we'll take this bowl here. So I have the zest of one lemon. So this lemon, I would zest the whole thing and then juice it. And then the juice I would pour in for the marinade. Now, how long are we going to marinate this? At least three or four hours. So we have orange zest and we have some orange juice. Nice. We have garlic, like so. So this is a nice herb mix from our herb garden, uh, which is um, flat leaf parsley, lemon thyme, sage, and chives. Mm. Put that into the marinade. A, a little brown sugar. I also put a little black pepper. Mm -hmm. And then I have this beautiful butternut squash oil that I love to use. Now, is that the oil from the seeds? From the seeds. Serrano pickle, a marinade that I made. What I have in here is I have some champagne vinegar, some sugar. Isn't that beautiful? That is incredible. Some salt. We have cranberries, shallots from the farm, and all kinds of things that I, I just love to make pickles and just come up with different recipes. I'll just put a little of that. So when I cook and make a marinade, I kind of play around with what I have at hand. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be exactly this. It's, this just happens to be in my pantry. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, this is going to be neat to enrich the flavor of the, the pheasant. We'll take the pheasant mm -hmm. and we'll roll it in the marinade, nice, like so. I'll put this in a cool place or the refrigerator. And every couple hours, I'll just turn it. 